the hours between 3 and 6 are cited by law enforcement as prime time for juvenile crime, gang violence, alcohol and drug use. Prop 49 is the after school initiative. It's the idea of Arnold Schwarzenegger. The goal is to take kids off the streets after school and into a safe, supervised educational environment. Endorsed by California law enforcement. The most effective way to reduce juvenile crime is to have after school programs available to young people. Endorsed by teachers and the PTA. Studies show that after school programs increase student attendance, improve homework habits, and raise test scores. Endorsed by California Tech. Taxpayers. Prop 49 is financed through growth in revenue and won't require new taxes. Instead, it will save taxpayers money. A study by the Rose Institute indicates that for every $1 spent on after-school programs, taxpayers save $3. Vote yes on 49, the after-school initiative. Our schools lost two billion dollars when the governor broke his promise to repay the money he took from education. Now he wants to increase his power over schools with a plan that cuts another four billion dollars. So who does he blame for the mess he's made? Me. Papers report the governor has a secret plan to create a phenomenon of anger against teachers and other public workers, blaming them for what's wrong with California. Instead of working with legislators to fix our schools, the governor's looking for people to blame. People like me. Chris, ever since these charges were first filed in the fall, in October to be exact, Mike Corona defiantly said he would stay on the job, and then he took a self-imposed leave of absence. That was for 60 days. That ended January 7th, and then today, his abrupt resignation. America's sheriff is turning in his badge, a reluctant but realistic decision. You have to keep in mind that he's facing 105 years uh, in prison uh, where he'd be convicted of these charges. The federal trial set to begin now in June. 52-year-old Mike Corona, along with his wife Deborah, and the woman prosecutors call his longtime mistress, Deborah Hoffman, facing public corruption charges. Corona is accused of using his elected office by taking bribes of cash and gifts in exchange for favors.